Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Swerfo gun in the building. I got to talk to y'all about something very important. Tomorrow's the election. Got to talk to y'all about the election, right? This whole year, I've been making videos inadvertently discussing this political topic. Discussing Trump, Biden, Camilla, the assassination attempt, the arrest, just everything, just all, all types of different shit in regards to this election. And it's tomorrow. Some of you guys are probably wondering, since I accidentally talk about this shit so much, who am I going to be voting for? I'll tell you right here, from right here, from right now. I will be voting for Kamala Harris. For the main reason is because Trump is an existential threat to our dem democracy, our bureaucracy. God, I'm playing, I'm playing. Guys, if I ever start talking like that, just know I got some Diddy tapes leaking out there somewhere. But the truth is, guys, before I even talk, discuss who I'm going to be, quote unquote, voting for, I just need to get this off my chest because I've just been noticing something that's so upsetting to me as a person, as an individual. Guys, in every video I, I say we're in a matrix, we're in a video game, we're in a virtual world, where, whatever you want to call it, right? But once, once I put all that to the side for a moment and, you know, respect this vessel that, that, that we're living in, I am an American. I was born here. I love this country. I love, you know, my family, my community. I have never seen the political divide be so volatile and so hateful and so hate fueled. I have never seen it like this. Some people attribute it, attribute it to the social media algorithms. Some people attribute it to the um, just the the over hyper fixation on being right all the time in regards to social and political issues. Some people think it's a mixture of both. But the truth is, guys, I have never seen so much hatred for your for the fellow American just because they disagree with you on something like taxes or the damn economic um shit in regards to foreign whatever i have never seen so much hatred ever and i don't know why it has to be like this because everybody can agree that we all want to see a better country for ourselves and our kids we all want to live a better life to lead for our people we just have different means of how we're going to attain that right and this whole thing of where we have to call other people garbage, call other people Nazis, call other people trash, just because they have a different outlook on the world. Why has it, how, what is happening to our country? What is happening to, what is happening to the world, man? So, and, and for those who are wondering, no, I won't be voting this year. Um, I don't even think I'm, I don't even think my voter registered thing is still active. I don't even know or remember, but it's just so upsetting to me that it just, it's, it's just gotten so hate driven. I thought we all love our country, but why do we have to, why do we have to hurt, hurt other people, make other people feel bad? Just because we, I don't get it. I really don't get it, man. So I feel so upset and so like disgusted. I've never seen this much name calling, this much hatred and anger towards this whole political thing, man. And let me tell you something, regardless of who win, I'm glad Regardless of who win, I'm glad Trump is going to go away because I feel like Trump was really the onset of this. 
Trump just created a bug that just crawled into people's asses and just made them just, just so gung ho, just made them so angry and so just reaching to the worst parts of humanity so they could prove themselves to be the superior person. Me personally, I do not care about my image. I do not care about what people have to say about me. I do not care about your opinion. I do not care about being right. Watch all my videos and try to find right or wrong or misinformation or me saying a fact that was statistically incorrect. You're gonna have more fun doing that than I would because on these videos, I just talk mess. But my biggest thing is I don't do things out of fear. Most people are going to the voting booths this November or in tomorrow out of fear, out of hatred, out of Project 2025. Oh, she's gonna get into uh, the World War Three. Oh, she's gonna do this. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna um, put us all in chains. Like the nigga was already president. We, we we was not in change when this nigga was president. The point is, I don't do things out of fear, and I hope you guys aren't. Go into the voting booth tomorrow out of fear. And I hope you're not doing it because some celebrity told you that's the best thing you should do. I hope you're not doing it because I hope you're not. Guys, if you're going to vote, vote for the right reasons. Don't vote out of hatred, out of anger, because that's what they want. They want you to be at your peak, low vibrational state. They don't want they don't want any happiness for you. They want you to be as hateful and as hate driven as possible. And that's how they get you. That's how they get you. Notice how these past few days of the campaign, they haven't even been talking about policy anymore. It's just whatever dirt they can miscue and 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 whatever, just whatever type of words they can put out of context to put it against the opponent. It's just so, like it just gives me a headache, like stop. <laughs> just it, i just don't i don't know man and i live in cali right now so maybe my vote wouldn't matter regardless but i have never seen it this volatile and this hate fueled and this hate driven and i work in politics i know how crazy it can get and i know that the main thing they want to exploit for your vote because regardless of who you vote for, you gotta understand these main people, the people behind these politicians, these puppets, their main goal is to achieve power. They don't want money no more. All they want is your power. All they want is your energy. All they want is, people say, oh, Trump just running for financial purposes. What's the, what would be the benefit and the gain of a billionaire gaining one or 200 more million? Who the fuck cares at that point? Why would he still want money if he's already a billionaire? Same thing with Elon Musk. They say, oh, Elon Musk is supporting Trump because Musk wants the billionaire tax cut. Listen, what would be the difference if if Elon Musk makes a few hundred, few hundred million uh, within the next four years? Who? What's the difference? These motherfuckers want power. That's all it is, bro. So when people... So when people, particularly on the Democrat side, keep saying threat to democracy, he's Hitler, he's this, he's that. I see it as Trump is the only thing that's standing in the way of these motherfuckers gaining global control. And it's the same thing with Trump because I'm not picking no sides here. Trump is a huge, huge narcissist in my opinion. You could debate that, but I see Trump is a huge ego driven motherfucker his ass just want he, he just he just need to prove something he just need to prove that he can serve out two terms he just need to he just want he, he he just needs to do it he needs to do it so maybe that's why he's running maybe he just want to avoid jail time that nigga ain't going to jail even if he don't win he's not going to jail guys i hope you know this if you don't believe me come back to this video my point is Neither of these sides are coming down from the heavens or coming down from the most pure, most sanctified place in America just to come save you. Neither of these parties are here to come save you. I hope you know this. So if you're dealing with something, 
Because I feel like the most loser type shit you can do is blame your losses and blame your failures on the powers that be. Oh, um, my life sucks. So it's so it's the governor's fault. So it's the congressman's fault. So it's the senator's fault. The last thing, last thing a lot of these people want to do, particularly people of my skin color, want to do is blame the shadow man, blame the shadowy figures, that blame the powers that be. Take no accountability for your own losses, your own failures, and not not accepting the fact that losses are just learning lessons. That's, that's why they both start with L's. Losses just just means you learn, right? So the, that's the most loserish thing you could do. Most pathetic loser type shit. Imagine if I just walked into your house and I was like, "It's your fault. My life sucks. It's your fault." Uh. All this stuff is happening to me. I'll be like, nigga, suck it up. Nigga, get your, nigga, nigga, tighten up. Nigga, tighten up. Because I don't care what political system you subscribe to. I love my life. I love this country. I love everything, man. I love the life that I'm living. I'm not going to blame a politician or president as to why my life is going to look the way it looks. I'm not doing nothing out of fear. I'm not doing nothing out of hate. I have nothing but love in my heart towards every human being on this earth. So that's all I have to really say for now. We're just going to have to see what happens. I don't know. For the past two elections, I think um, I got it wrong. 2016, every, everybody thought Hillary was going to win. 2020, I thought Trump was going to win. This time, I really have no clue. We're just going to have to see what happens. I feel like something... For some reason, I'm feeling the strong sense that something crazy is going to happen. Whether it be... I, it's probably going to be a tie. It's going to be... Um, I feel like something crazy is going to gonna happen. Because guys, I hope you know, if Trump lose, he's not le he's not going away. He's he's not going down without a fight. Now, if he lose in like a landslide, which is very, 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 very unlikely, if he lose by like a large margin, then hopefully he'll concede. But if he lose by like a one state and he's able to wiggle his way around something, then I feel like it's really gonna be a, that's when the real shit shows are gonna start. You think it's already a shit show? Nigga, the shit sh The party's only begun, buddy. It's only begun, buddy. So, just for, just for preparatory, prep, preparation purposes, I recommend, because we don't know what's going to happen at all, because regardless of what's going to happen, there's going to be riots. Regardless of who wins, there's going to be riots. So just stock up on food. If niggas come knocking at your door, if, if, if motherfuckers start riding your, your towns, because that's what a lot of people want to do when they can't get their way. They rile and pile and, and start partaking in coonery and buffoonery. Stock up. Just grab, grab you some noodles, grab you some dried fruit. Make sure your tank of gas is full. Make sure you got everything that you need because we don't know what's going to happen. It could be a tie. It could be a legal court battle. It could be um, some riots. We don't know what's going to happen. And this is why I say all the time, don't rely on these politician motherfuckers to come save you. Because all these niggas is playing the same card. Earlier in this video, I, did, I, I imitated what a lot of these celebrities is out here doing. Because... All, I feel like all the support for Kamala, because she didn't win nothing. She didn't win no nomination. All the support for Kamala is from the powers that be. Is from certain individuals telling them to do so. Because these Diddy tapes, them shits, them hoes is real. Them hoes is real, I'm telling you. And a lot of these celebrities are so compromised. A lot of these motherfuckers... They all demonic. All these politician motherfuckers demonic. Trump best friends with Jeffrey Epstein, Kamala, and and her her crew. They all some some shady individual. Just keep y'all keep 
don't pay attention to this shit, but understand the bigger picture. Understand the underlying message. These poly, these ce billionaire celebrities. Why are these billionaire celebrities supporting Kamala if um she, if she's gonna make them quote unquote pay their fair share? They're compromised. They're getting either paid to do it or they got Diddy tapes or something we don't know about. Anybody with with a brain and two pieces of common sense can can attest to that, right? So, last thing I'm gonna say. Last thing I'm gonna say. Don't be invested in this shit. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Because no matter what, we're going to be all right. No matter who win, we're going to be all right. If you love your country, if you love yourself, if you, if you got love within your heart, you're going to be all right. Now, if you got hate within your heart and your opposite, then the opposite party start winning, you're going to... Who knows what you're going to do? You're probably going to go wild. You're probably going to... Who knows? But just know... You leave with love, you're gonna be alright. Swear for God in the building, in the outside, and I'm out, bro. Peace.